What's up, everybody? Once again, my name is Matt, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we uh, defeated Crasher Wake in Pastoria City, and in this episode, we're going to put a stop to the Galactic Bomb. But first, let's check out my party. I leveled up a little bit off screen, but more importantly, I actually used the TMs we got from Veilstone to teach our party some new moves. So, real quickly, I'll just like scroll through all these. That way you guys can see what we're rocking with. It's not that big of a change, but I figured you guys would like to be updated on what I'm doing with our team. Anyways, now that that is out of the way, what do you say we actually progress the story and talk to Crash Your Wake? You can actually see TJ behind this like weird, I don't know, like poster board thing. Hey! What am I, chopped liver? Don't forget I'm here too. Well, you're the one hiding behind the poster board thing. So, where is this galactic doom? Uh-oh. That does not sound good. In fact, that sounds a lot like an explosion. Phew, that was rough. You, what have you done? What have I done, you're asking? Well, technically speaking, it wasn't me. What do you mean it wasn't you? The package that arrived, see? That was a bomb named the Galactic Bomb. Me, I was told to push the button, so I did, like, plunk. Then it is your fault, then, because you detonated it. Oh, that's right. Mustn't forget, the test results need reporting. Cheerio, then, you daft Kaja. You masked absurd. So, apparently, this guy is, uh, British. Not sure why, but whatever. The Great Marsh is invaluable. You two, do not follow me. Don't let anyone else in, either. There would be big trouble if there's any of that bomb left. I'm pretty sure that's not how bombs work, but... Alright, whatever you say, dude. Hey, Matt, you go after that galactic goon. I'm staying here like Master said. Gotta keep others from going in. Don't let that galactic guy get away. That's like the first good idea you've actually had, TJ. Let's chase after this galactic grunt and make sure he doesn't do anything suspicious. What's with you? Stop chasing after me. You, I've half a mind to pulverize you with my Pokemon. But I have to be on my way to the lake ASAP. So you're lucky, I'm out. All right, do I make myself clear? Don't you dare follow me. Yeah, well, I do what I want, so of course I'm going to follow you. You're not getting away from me that easily, sir. So pretty much we just gotta track this guy down. We needed the energy from the Valley Windworks to make this. It would take a scientific genius to make something like this. Therefore, our boss who made this is a scientific mechanical genius. That is some level of deduction you have going on there. Gah, you were eavesdropping. I was just thinking out loud. But I'm not going to waste my energy knocking you around. Oh, we'll see about that. Yeah, I hope you guys like backtracking because uh, that's pretty much what this entire segment of the game is. We have to go all the way back to uh, the Valor Lakefront, pretty much. But boy, this galactic bomb packs a pretty big wallop. With this baby here, there's not much we can't blow up. Oh, that sounds bad. I wonder what they have planned for this. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. You pretty much say the same thing like every time after you finish your little monologue there. Go ahead, run away again. I don't really care. You're not going to waste energy on me. We got it. We got it. And oh, it's Looker again. I wonder what he wants. Hello, my friend. The cargo that the Team Galactic brought is worrisome, so I have come. You say the cargo? It was a bomb? And there was an explosion? Yeah, how did you miss that? The explosion was at the Great Marsh. Furthermore, you are pursuing a man. A man with a funny bowl cut hair. In an outfit that is very strange. In other words, this is the Team Galactic. Oh, no, no, no. How did I miss it? Ah, looker. This time you have made a mistake of the ages. The man who I've seen running away. He was the bearer of the bomb. Ah, this will not do. Wait, wait, I say. Yeah, you go after him, Looker, even though I'm kind of the one, like, solving your case for you, but, eh, what can you expect from the international police? They're, like, paid from tax dollars, so obviously they don't work the hardest. And yeah, there he goes, just talking up one of the random guards in between two of the routes. He's not getting anywhere. The real threat is this guy over here. Pant, pant. Why am I running like this anyway? The new world. The new universe that our boss was talking about. It's making me giddy thinking about it. When we use this thing. Oh, hi. How you doing? God, you're eavesdropping. I was only talking to myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. You're persistent too. I'm pooped out from all this running. But I'm not going to battle you. Yeah, that's what you think. 
We're gonna keep chasing after you until you do eventually battle us. And here we go. This is the last time we talked to him. Oh no, you're still on my tail. You only went like two feet. The lake's within sight. You leave me no choice. My Pokemon will KO you. Yeah, we'll see about that. And for all the smack this guy talks, guess what? He has one Pokemon. One Pokemon. It's a Krogunk. Like, come on. It's not even a hard Pokemon. I mean, sure, it's level 31, but like, Flamethrower will probably just melt this thing. Like, Flamethrower is a ridiculously powerful fire type move. I'm not sure why I didn't like teach this to Epona as soon as we got it. Probably because I forgot about it, but eh, whatever. At least now that we got it now, so we can pretty much melt a majority of like anything that stands in our way, regardless of if we're super effective against them or not. Although it does help. I can't battle anymore. I'm running on fumes. I have to give this to the commander. I wish I got to use it at the lake. Well, too bad for you. And, okay, he, we're just gonna let him walk off, apparently, because, you know, there's no reason to chase after him or anything. I don't know what the point of that was. Oh, hello, long time no see. How's your Pokedex filling up? I don't know why I'm making everyone British today. I came to research the folklore about the lake, but... Well, it doesn't appear as if the lake is open to the public now. That stinks. Have you heard the folklore about it? Actually, no, I haven't. They say there is an island inside the lake. And inside that island is a mirage of a Pokemon. No one must enter that chamber of that Pokemon. Oh, that's right. I had to talk to you about something else. What is it? And it's TJ. Hello. Hey, Matt. Where'd that Galactic Goon run off to? I don't know. Huh? Is this your older sister? Um, no. No, she isn't. Oh, okay. That explosion at the Great Marsh? It wasn't anything serious. Mr. Wake told me to tell you that. But that Team Galactic, wow, are they out of control or what? Next time I see them, I'll teach them a lesson they won't forget. See you around. All right, TJ, uh, thank you very much for interrupting me. He's your friend. Uh, I wouldn't really say that, honestly. He's more impatient than he is energetic, isn't he? Uh, I guess you could say that. So, getting back to what I started saying earlier. Have you seen the group of Psyducks on Route 210? Actually, yes, we have. Yes, that's right, by the cafe on Route 210. You've seen that group of Psyduck huddled with their heads in their, uh, hands. Anyways, what you should do is use this medicine on the Psyduck. You're working on a Pokedex, so it would be worthwhile for you. And with that, she gives us the secret potion. So now we can move that group of Psyducks. I went on a big adventure with the Pokedex when I was younger. I hope you get to meet every kind of Pokemon there is to see. It may help you with the secret of the Mirage Pokemon. See you later. All right, see you later, Cynthia. Well, I guess now that we got that, and since the lake is actually close to the public, uh, we should probably head back to Salacian Town and go and use the potion on that group of Psyduck. So thankfully, I taught Fly off screen to Lofty, and we can just immediately warp back to Salacian Town. Isn't that just dandy? Gotta love teleportation moves or quick travel or whatever you want to call it. Anyways, now that we're back in Salacian Town, remember the first time we were here I was talking about the Salacian Town ruins and how we didn't actually have to do them back then? Well, now is the time where they're going to come in handy because we actually will need the uh, move defog in one of the upcoming areas. But before we go any further, um, I forgot to mention, I did go to the store or the Pokemart and I bought some repel. So I'm going to use that in this area just so we don't encounter any random like unknowns while we're going through here but uh, in the Salacian ruins you can actually find a lot of hidden items like I said before you can find a lot of the evolutionary stones like for instance this fire stone I believe you can also find the water stone and the thunder stone in here I don't think you can find um the other stone I think it's like the leaf stone or something like that I don't actually remember. Now, the only problem with this is I kind of forgot, like, where everything is. So, I'm just going to, like, try and travel down every path, but be quick about it. I don't want to waste too much time in here, but at the same time, I do actually want to collect uh, most of the items. There we go. There's the water stone. Nice. Plus, if I go down, like, every path that I see when I see it, there is less of a chance that I will get lost. And I did not mean to come back up here. I actually want to go on these upper paths, and I did not want to battle you. I think you can skip this guy, but I'm not entirely sure. Regardless, let's take him on. 
All right, so now that that is done, let's head off to the right. And actually, you know what? Let's go back up and go to the left, because I don't want to go down there just yet since it branches off into more paths. And there is nothing here, so that was a colossal waste of time. But don't worry, I'm used to it by now. Um, let's see, what's down here? Anything? Nope. I really thought there was, like, more items in these, uh, like, stray word paths, but I guess I was wrong. Um, let's see what's up here. I uh, don't want to go up here just yet because that's another branching path, so let's head up in this direction and see what we've got. Nothing. Well, that was anticlimactic. Please tell me there is something down here. Ooh, it's spooky down here, but we did find ourselves the Thunderstone, so that is fantastic. I think that actually might be uh, the last item before we get to the room with, like, the other four items that we would originally, like, come down here for. Um, but I'll just double check and there's nothing here, so that was useless. I think there's only like two rooms left anyways, and one of them is this room, so what's up here? Anything? Nothing? Nope. Alright, well, that was just a waste of time then. So let's head down here, and this is the room with the four items that you would really come in here for. We got ourselves a nugget. Very nice item. You can sell that for a lot of money. HMO5 Defog. That's the real reason why we came down here. We'll be using that in the upcoming area. And the odd incense, which isn't really that useful, honestly. And then we also got ourselves a mind play, which I believe increases the attack power of psychic type moves by like 20%, I think. Anyway, I hope I can actually do this, but uh, remember when we bought all those escape ropes? Well, yeah, hopefully we can use one of those now, and yeah, baby, we can. Thank goodness, that'll save me a lot of time. Now I don't have to worry about getting lost on the way out of here. Alright, so now that we are back in Salacion Town, and we have the HMD fog, what do you say we go and move those side ducks? But first, I know what you guys are probably thinking, Matt, who are you going to teach defog to? You don't really want to waste that on Lofty, do you? Well, you're right, I absolutely do not want to teach Lofty defog. But what I didn't tell you is that I actually caught a Pokemon in between episodes. What did I catch? Well, one of my favorite Pokemon, Wingle. And I actually caught that and named it Pumbloom. And that's what we are going to teach Defog to. So let me just withdraw this into our party real quick. Now, he's not going to be a permanent member. I'm only going to use him for, like, this area where we need Defog. So I'm not going to bother updating the sidebars or anything like that. Because we're probably only going to use him for, like, one or two episodes. So doesn't really matter. Actually, I think I caught a female Wingle, but honestly, who really cares? Let's just boot up Defog and teach it to her. Um, oh wow, it actually already knows four moves, although it is level 25, so I guess that's to be expected. Uh, let's see, I guess we can just get rid of Mist, because honestly, who really cares? I'm not even going to use this thing, like, on my team at all, so doesn't really matter what I get rid of. Alrighty, so now that Pum Bloom knows Defog, we are pretty much good to go. There's nothing else we need to do, so what do you say we head up to where all those Psyducks are and uh, move them out of the way. That way we can get past them and see what's awaiting for us. And oh wow, I actually never battled these guys before. I kind of thought I did. Oh, that's right, no, I bypassed them by going the alternate route. Alright, so now that that battle is out of the way, we are good to go. Let's just, uh... Talk to these here Psyducks and give them the secret potion. So have fun with that. They're cured of their chronic headaches. Hooray! Get out of here, you Psyducks. Now you can go do whatever it is that like Psyducks do when they don't have chronic headaches. And I like how that one is like the stupid one and gets separated from the group. But now we are free to go. And hey, look at Cynthia again. Oh, good. You used the secret potion I gave you. Psyducks are known to suffer from chronic headaches. But no one has been able to figure out what triggers those headaches. Oh yes, can I ask you a big favor? Uh, sure, what's up? I want you to deliver this old charm to my grandma in Celestic Town. Well, alright, then I guess I can do that. I know there are some rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so... It will be worth your while to go. Well, that sounds fun. So there we go, we got ourselves the old charm. My grandma has this sort of bossy atmosphere about her. I think you'll recognize her right away. Yes, I'm sure you will. She's the elder of Celestic Town. And the location? Look on your town map. You can't miss it. Okay, I'm counting on you. See you again down the road. Alright, see you later, Cynthia. 
Alright, so, um, you know, before we go any further, I'm actually going to pop another repel. That way we don't have to deal with any random battles because there's probably going to be a lot of them between now and, uh, Celestic Town. So, might as well just pop the repel. That way we can make this a little bit quicker. Also, I do want to pick up this item because it's a Hyper Potion. Very nice. Alright, so... Uh, let's continue heading upwards because you're about to see why I got defog. Yes, this right here. It's really, really annoying to navigate this area without defog. So it's a good thing that we got it. So let's bust out Pum Bloom, use this defog, and there we go. Now it is much easier to see what is going on. And gosh dang it, even though it was easier to see, I still got in a battle with a random ninja. All right, now that that is over. I think this is actually a good place to end off this episode, so if you enjoyed this video, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.